This all happened in Oregon in a portion of the Columbia River that feeds into the Pacific Ocean, an area that's notorious for rough waters and is often called the graveyard of ships. For members of the U.S. Coast Guard rescue team, this is not a drill. Someone on board this boat, the Sandpiper, issued a mayday call and rookie diver, 22 year old Petty Officer Third Class Branch Walton is the first in the water. His first real life rescue mission ever. It was luck of the draw. I mean, there was seven other rescue swimmers in the classroom when we heard the mayday call and we kind of did rock, paper, scissors for it. All of them were itching to go. They all could have got it done, but I got lucky. Moments later, the boat capsizes. The waters at the mouth of the Columbia River in Oregon were too much. Walton finds the boat's captain and the two are hoisted to safety. A rescue that happened as Coast Guard crews were training on this very scenario in the same part of the river. Right after the case, I went and got my certificate and graduated it. While Walton is all smiles, the man he saved, 35-year-old Jericho Labonte, is on the run. Police believe the boat he was piloting was stolen. And then there's this. Police in Astoria, Oregon, say this is the same man caught on video for some reason leaving a dead fish on the porch of a home made famous by the movie Goonies right after the house was sold. A man who tonight may be on dry land, but remains in hot water, wanted by several agencies, including the U.S. Coast Guard. Police say that Labonte was released from the hospital before anyone knew his identity. And we just learned early Friday evening that he was in fact arrested in Astoria, Oregon. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.